What's up guys, I'm Matt Farah. Today we're at Spring Mountain Motorsports Ranch in Pahrump, Nevada for the Optima Ultimate Streetcar Shootout. And this is a really cool event because whereas at SEMA, you get to see the cars sitting on the show floor, out here, they're gonna beat the crap out of some of them on the racetracks and we're actually gonna see how some of these cars run. But it would be a real shame to come to a racetrack event and not get to do a little bit of driving myself. So I'm gonna hop in one of these Elises and see what this track's all about before those guys get out there. Plus, if I ask nicely enough, I think I may be able to squeeze a ride in one of these new Radical SR3s and see what real cornering G-Force is about. You guys are watching The Smoking Tire. It's like Walmart had a sale on gears. It's a Fobgina. I don't know what else to call it. The Evo bends the earth to its will. This car is impossible to drive slowly. I like the British racing green, so I chose this particular vehicle for my on-track excursion here. And I'm gonna set this little flip cam up. The car has got a, is on a weird angle, so I'm gonna get kind of a strange angle from this, but it should be cool. All right, we are driving Spring Mountain's shorter course. As we're in the Elises, it seems a little more conducive to the short road course where top end speed isn't as important, and that's fine because any day at the track is a good day, whether it's the short course or the long course. There's a lot of late apexes on this track, a lot of late apexes and a lot of switchbacks that make all out top speed really not an issue. And cornering is much more useful. Wow, the apex of this corner is way around the back. I've driven a lot of exiges uh, and never a regular release on the racetrack, so this should be a good experience for me. It's gonna be really exciting later to see some of these street cars. I've seen a few of them and uh, at the show with the Optima street car shootout stickers on them. A lot of vets, old vets with big engines. A lot of muscle cars, highly tuned up. And so we're actually gonna find out if uh, all the money they put into those cars with those go fast parts is gonna translate to faster lap times on the racetrack. I know that Batman has a little bit of a handicap in the Elise since lightness is really what you want. But I think I'm doing just fine. And we've caught up to the other group again. All right, we got Rick Malone from the Radical School here and we've managed to finagle a ride in uh, this Radical SR3. Tell me about the car. Well, uh, the car, like you said, is a radical car uh, from England. It's an SR3 powered by a Suzuki Hayabusa engine, uh, 1300 cc's. What's that make, about 140 horsepower? Uh, I think a little bit more, about 165 to okay. rear wheel. And okay. there's also a 1400 cc and a 1500 cc upgrade option that you can get. Okay, and I mean, it looks fast. It's very fast. I always tell everybody uh, the fun fact when the scale one and 10 is about a 30. It pulls about two and a half G's. Oh, okay. So the cornering is really what, what, what matters it's in this in car. It's in the cornering of this car. This okay. car will stick and it will corner. All right. Well, I, uh, I think we need to go for a ride and find out how it feels let's to, find to out pull those kind like. of G's. Yeah, let's do that. Let's make some moves.
fast. Yeah, this is small motor. Yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, it goes really, really fast. Yeah, it sticks well. Yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Everyone knows Optima makes the best batteries out there. This is common knowledge for years at this point. And I figured while we're here at the challenge and we've got these batteries, I'll take the time to show you guys exactly what battery serves what purpose. Because to tell you the truth of the show, we've seen a lot of misuse of batteries. So it's important to educate you guys about what is the right battery to use for the right application. These are the three main batteries they make, okay? We've got a yellow top, a red top, and a blue top. The blue top is for boats. If you do not have a boat, do not buy a blue top, okay? I've seen two of these in cars this, at this show. You want this for a boat. Got it? Blue boat. Red top. This is what you want for your street cars or your hot rods that you don't drive every once in a while. The battery is meant for cranking only. When it cranks the motor, alternator takes over, and then you're just running regular, okay? The red top is a starting battery. The yellow top is probably the most advanced one they have, and that's a deep cycle battery, which means if you've got a big stereo, you're running TVs in the car, you're an off-roader with a winch, you've got a compressor in the car, whatever your huge electrical loads are, that's the battery you want. I see a lot of people here at the show with two red tops in there because that's what they've always used, but if you've got a huge electrical load or any, anything that's going to continuously draw off the system, or if you need to use the, the electricity while the engine's turned off, yellow top, right? Blue for boats, red for starting, yellow for big electronics. It's that simple. Do it right, people, please. Oof, that is not pretty. All right. It's the Optima Ultimate Streetcar Invitational, invite only racing. This is neat. They got autocross going on over there. We got the road course here at Spring Mountain, and these guys are running everything in their show cars. Uh, some of them built a little more for show as uh, that 32 over there broke a suspension by turning right and had to be towed off the track. So hopefully that'll happen again. Oh, is he off? Did he go off already? Oh, yeah! Yeah! Uh, we're, we're here cheering for crashes. On the warm up lap. Left rear tire rubbing on the inner fender well every time he turns right. Clearly, he didn't plan on actually driving this thing when he built it. And he's coming down this straight now. Watch what happens when he turns right. He's gonna turn right here, you're gonna see a big thing of smoke. Oh, oh, or he's just gonna drive off into the dirt. Yeah, there's the smoke. Back on the autocross track where I ran an excellent time in the Corvette. Tom, cameraman, had the best time of the day in the Lotus Elise yesterday. And uh, we got this El Camino about to run right now. We're gonna see all the cars running the autocross today, including an LS9 powered 69 Camaro, a Shelby Cobra, all original, who knows what else, and of course the highlight, a fully riced out Bentley that makes me crack up every time I see it because it's just that terrible. So uh, we got this event, we got the road course event. Enjoy some car porn. It's about, oh, 
couple gallons of coolant right there. Old cars, not really meant for autocross. 